There is a fire in me, the fire of all Christ, burning from the inside for the world. On the 27th to 31st July 2022, medical practitioners, dentists and students of the Christian Medical and Dental Association of Nigeria, CMDA Nigeria, were in Abuja for their four days fifth joint national conference with the theme in flame, building an excellent healthcare system in Nigeria, a focus on human resources for health. I'm super, super excited to be here. You know, I flew in about two days ago solely to participate in this historic uh, 50th anniversary celebration. I, I couldn't have missed it for anything. I remember telling a lot of people, I, I was just saying to whoever would care to listen that you have to be in this conference. The Christian Medical and Dental Association of Nigeria, CMDA Nigeria, has been able to write its name in the sands of time by carrying out various mission outreaches, conferences and leadership trainings to establish a culture of excellence among medical practitioners across Nigeria and in diaspora, all with the vision to care for the whole man, spirit, soul and body. See people here today at this conference, I'm so happy with them. Every four years, thousands of Christian doctors and students come together for four days to fellowship and be equipped for the practice of medicine as a ministry. The world that we have been running with is CMD Nigeria, Light to the Nations. The quotes in the Acts of Apostles give a connotation that the time for manifestation is now. And there's no group that will do it than the group that was set aside by the Lord and empowered to cause a change. God is not against prosperity. God is not selling poverty. What God is selling, many as are led by the Spirit of God, they yeah. are. The conference provides a platform for participants to be enlightened on emerging issues and innovations in the healthcare sector, to commit themselves to delivering compassionate care and to renew their faith through prayers, worship and fellowship. It was a great experience getting to fellowship and communicate with you know, fellow medical students, um, and of course, also getting to meet Christian doctors. And if what God wants me to do is to provide food, it's as spiritual as preaching on the Lord. You have grace in your place. You have a consignment for your assignment. You have an allocation in your location, but it has to be by divine direction. The conference was aimed at mobilizing and equipping Christian medics to have the capacity to bring about a paradigm shift in the health system in Nigeria and beyond with the potential to deliver an effective, efficient and responsive health service. The sessions have been wonderful. They have been very informative. They have touched every area that I had questions, so all the questions I had as many as I could count, many, most of them have been answered. People have had this idea that if you are not a pastor on the church pulpit, you are not full time. What I tell, I tell people, and I've shared this in the conferences, that as a doctor, you are, you know, positioned to impact lives. And when you have the wisdom of God, He helps you to transit through different stages of life, addressing problems as you go along. People recognize people in faith-based organizations and honor them. Where I work, people identify and say, I want to pay for a salary of a nurse for life. And faithfully, they keep to it. How are they going to be strengthened so that they'll produce more that we go to villages? We 
we have just heard that instead of going to villages, they are going to Canada. So what do we do now? Work ethics is what we should promote. Ask God for your purpose in life. What is your purpose in life? I'm here to be inflamed. I'm here to be set on fire. There is a whole lot out there. Okay, like the bioethics we're, we're training on, okay, just shows that there are actually a lot of different gray areas in even the healthcare sector, okay, and then I'm just here to catch fire for God, okay, and so that when I go, there is this excellence I bring into healthcare. Look at in this conference, we have about 1,700 to 1,800 people. This is awesome. During our previous conferences, we may have 500, 600, but now the number of students have increased, the number of schools have increased. The fifth joint national conference featured inspiring talks from speakers who are leading practitioners in the health sector and ministry, plenary sessions, parallel sessions, worship, corporate prayers, opportunities to network with like-minded people, panel sessions, exhibitions, welfare, and lots more. The reason why our knowledge of God is very superficial in this generation is because we've not cultivated a depth of work with the Holy Spirit. What was it that happened for Moses from the fire? Number one, the restoration of passion. The passion that he had had to come back at the flame of the burning bush. I'm aware that there may be people here today Maybe your first love is dead. When you stepped into medical school, you were on fire. At a certain points along the line, you were on fire. Maybe you are in practice as a medical doctor. The fire of your student days, the fire of your university days, you can't find it anymore. <laughs> After four days of being inflamed, the 2022 Fifth Joint National Conference came to a halt. All praise to God for a successful conference. The participants shared testimonies as they returned to their various locations to set their spheres on fire. I keep saying it every day to my, both my classmates and everybody, CMDA is like the most wonderful Christian body I've been in since I, since my experience with Christian bodies. I, I, I'm seeing a lot of excellence so far in organizing the conference. First, I have to give credit to the teams and of course broadly the LOC and every single person in that, on that round table that made all the things needed for the conference to happen. I really want to give kudos to them. I think they, they did a good job. And of course, they are still working behind the scenes right now, so they are doing a great job. So, massive salute to them. And uh, I can see all the great things that God is doing, and it can only get better. 2022 Joint National Conference can only be described as a miracle. Everything stood against it, like the, the, the like hell itself was released to make sure that it didn't happen. 
it's come to pass and there are many rivers that have been unleashed from the bellies of men and women young and old the conference has set the stage for what we are going to do as individuals and as a group in a new Nigeria. We've started preparing every single person to see that we come out with exactly what is needed for a new Nigeria to emerge and to work, to function. We're preparing people who are going to execute it and we're preparing people who are going to rejoice when it comes to pass. The fifth joint national conference which was our 50th anniversary celebration, our jubilee, set the stage for that already. And the rest, every single person in Nigeria and across the globe will hear about it. And all the glory will be to God.